think programs like UJW are important because they are helping students find their career and what they're interested in without paying money ultimately. College is expensive and I think with programs like UJW, students are able to get the experience they need without going to college first. I am going, I'm a senior now and I'm going to college knowing that I want to do journalism because of UJW. I decided to be a part of it because I think it would help me uh, become a better writer uh, as a journalist and help me kind of uh, develop more skills that I can learn outside of the outside of school. I think it also gave me a better understanding of what I want to do uh, as a career in the future. In terms of my experience, it's a very positive experience. I've networked and worked with so many different people. Um, my mentor specifically this year is actually currently works with the New York Times. I think that's so cool that I'm writing an article and the person editing my article literally works for New York Times. Um, so other than that, it is a very rigorous program. The curriculum, we do stories like we're treated like true journalists. We literally are, we have a deadline. We have to stick to this. We have to find the who, what, when, where, why. We have to conduct interviews. We have to approach people, so. Hearing success stories from students who've been through UJW is a point of personal pride. And I've known quite a few students who've gone through the program who have ended up in the industry uh, as working journalists from CNN to the Washington Post, even to my own newsroom now at the Associated Press. We always joke about how one day we're going to end up working for some of these students and uh, we're, we're getting close to that point. So it's, it's a great feeling to just see them go through this program know that they're going to college. And you may lose a little bit of touch with them when they're in college, but then all of a sudden, you're reading a newspaper or you're looking at something that's journalism related and you see a name and you realize that this was a former UJW student and that you had a little bit of, of a role in their success. I feel like I've learned something different from each of the mentors. Um, all the mentors have worked in different publications and different news stations at different time periods some older, some younger, so there's different experiences on, on each side of the spectrum. And I've learned something from every single person that's spoke to us on a panel or that I've worked with one-on-one -on -one for creating my story. Students should take advantage of the program because they learn the fundamentals of journalism from professionals. From professional journalists who volunteer their time to come and work with these young people. So, I mean, these may be journalists that they may see on TV or know by name, um, but they find out that they're just, this is just, there's this hands-on, one-on-one, -on -one that is a great experience for the students. The most memorable moment working with these students was being able to take them to the White House press briefing room. They get to see where we go to get the information that we need from the president and other elected officials, and they got to see how that process works as well. And for me, that was just, an amazing experience for me just to see and be a part of that with those students. Um, I, the first time I went to the White House, I was almost 30 years old. You know, I never had an opportunity in high school to do something like that. Um, and so for them to be able to go and sit in the same seats as April Ryan and some of all these other journalists, you know, and I, I noticed a spark in their eyes. They, they're a very quiet bunch, I will say that. But I did notice a spark in their eyes. And when they asked certain questions, you could see that they said, wow, I could be here one day. I could be sitting in the seat one day. And I feel like that really resonated with me because I've always said I, I'm interested in politics and I really, really enjoyed that trip because I got to see the White House and I didn't know there were journalists and um, press correspondents who work inside of the White House other than um, Corinne Jean-Pierre. I thought she was the, the press person for the White House. So I got to see more of what happens behind the scenes and I think that, that really inspired me to continue with politics and journalism. And a lot of the people that spoke said, hey, when I became a journalist, I never thought I'd be at the White House, and they're journalists of color. So to have journalists of color saying that to these students, and these students saying, wow, I could be them in 20, 10, 20 years. To me, that meant so much for kids to see they're being represented and that they do have a possibility to be at the White House. And so just to be able to be a part of that experience, I thought it was amazing. And um, seeing people who 
uh, look like you do something that you want to do is extremely uh, inspirational. I hope that it still exists, of course. Um, I see the program evolving as the, the whole field of journalism is evolving. Uh, there are different types of journalism. I hope that the program continues to adapt to those changes. Uh, I hope that um, we continue to make an impact and we continue to foster students who are successful in the field. And I hope those students take what they learned and adapt it as well as try to make, a, uh, make an impact in the newsrooms where they work because there are stories that still don't get enough coverage and if those students can go into the newsrooms and you know push those stories whenever they get a chance then I feel like that's making an impact and representing as well. Program, it's, it's a program that needs to stay. If anybody's considering about funding the program, you should do that <laughs> because that's, I mean, this is, this, is, this is what we do. Like, it's, it's important to uh, give students these sort of opportunities. Like, there's, there's nothing more important, in my opinion, that you can do um, than teach somebody else that's coming up behind you. And it take, costs money to do that, so. <laughs> High school students should sign up for this program because they'll get opportunities to be able to go to the White House and do things like that, whereas they wouldn't be able to. I think even normal internships, most people don't get an opportunity to do that, and these kids did. So I definitely think that was the highlight for me and also a reason why parents should consider letting their kids go to this program. For 37 years, uh, we have heard um, WBJ um, through the UJW program has been teaching local high school students the fundamentals of journalism um, through a mix of panel discussions with various media professionals throughout the DMV, um, field trips, and one-on-one -on -one, um, mentoring. Um, as we honor our UJW class of 2023, I also want to give a special shout out to our mentors and volunteers. And I also want to acknowledge the WBJ board a special thanks to our generous um, sponsors and partners for their continued support. Um, they are the Gannett Foundation, the Washington Post, the Washington Informer, and American University. So with the continuing fight for more diverse newsrooms, um, WBJ remains um, committed to the cause. And I want to thank you guys for your continued support to the organization. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you.